Hi, I'm Marcel James. Welcome back to The Pulse. NMN and associated supplements have brought myself and others great health benefits, rejuvenation, um, really finding ourselves and our health after age 40 and 50 when it starts to deteriorate over time due to various aging reasons. NMN boosts NAD levels in your body and some of the other supplements based on plant molecules that I and others take have anti-aging properties and impacts and we found them to be very beneficial. But today I wanna to discuss that 20% roughly based on viewer feedback that reports not feeling any change after taking NMN. And I've narrowed it down by reading the comments, interacting with people, I've narrowed it down to five different potential reasons that people wouldn't experience positive impacts from NMN. And hopefully this will help some of them and some of you potential NMN takers to be aware of the pitfalls that are out there and to make good decisions so that you do experience the benefits that most of us are from taking NMN. If you decide, you know, NMN is not a cheap substance, although it recently went down 20% uh, at Do Not Age and a few others lowered the pricing as well, but it is an expensive molecule. So it'd be nice to know that if you're gonna take it, that you're gonna get results, that you're gonna feel better, that you're gonna feel en that energy boost, you're gonna start to sleep better, you're gonna get some of that appetite suppression, control some of those cravings for foods that we shouldn't eat. So the first reason that I've found that could account for some of that 20% reporting not having benefits is frankly trolling. There are always on the internet, sadly, in social media, uh, a component of people who want to just say the contrary. They just see something going on, they see somebody making a point, believing in something, others chiming in, and they say, well, that doesn't work for me, I tried it. Did they try it? Maybe they did, maybe they didn't for various reasons, but trolling has to be taken into account. The good news is I don't think that is the primary of the five reasons. I think that is a chunk of that 20%, but I personally don't believe and haven't found that to be by interacting with people, the primary reason. There are times when it looks like it could be trolling when somebody doesn't answer your follow-up questions um, or somebody just comes out of the blue. The interesting thing is, and the reason I believe uh, that trolling plays a role uh, or a big reason, besides just knowing that it's out there from my previous work in the audio industry and seeing it firsthand, um, the, the people that I know that are taking NMN are all reporting positive results. The people that I know personally, a lot of people came along with me on this journey because I posted on my own Facebook page uh, about it and I didn't even know they were taking NMN some, in some cases till months later. And they said, yeah, I've been taking it for five months or I've been taking it for four months, I'm feeling great. And I find out after the fact because I'm just not interacting with all my friends all the time. Everybody I know personally that tried NMN and resveratrol, TMG, uh, those are the main ones, but I have other friends taking a lot more supplements, almost as many as I am now, and they're all feeling great. So. It's a red flag when certain people say, oh, I'm not feeling anything. Okay, so let's get into some of the other reasons that they might not be feeling anything or they're saying they're not feeling anything. Reason number two is placebo effect. Now, placebo effect's a real thing, although it's been discounted in its impact. In other words, it's really hard to get benefits from just placebo effect. It, it's almost non-existent. You may think you're getting benefits from uh, taking a placebo, but at the, the tests that were done, this recent studies have shown that mostly it's not a real thing in the sense that you could be convinced you're having benefits, but medically you don't actually experience benefits. Uh, there is also a reverse placebo effect where you go into something and you say, well, I'm not gonna get any benefits. And then you don't, either don't or don't notice them. And that's really what we're getting into now. So placebo effect in this case would imply, and I admit that NMN is a good candidate to say, hey, placebo effect, you're, you're taking something and you're feeling great. Or NMN is real and you are feeling better taking it, which is the more likely scenario because so many people are reporting 
feeling better and feeling more energetic and sleeping better and having better diet control in the range of 70 to 80 percent are feeling those things. Placebo effect usually occurs in about 35 percent of people that take placebo. They report benefits and those are suggested. That's why I say NMN is a good candidate because I tell you and other people tell you, you can feel good taking this, you know, very likely that you will. And so you have that in your mind. So you take it and the placebo effect would be, oh, I feel better, you know, because it was suggested to you. So that's why it's a good candidate. The problem with it, another problem with it, the placebo effect in this case is, for example, I improved my 5K runtime over a four month period. I started running January, had an injury, overdid it because I had so much energy. I pulled a muscle, pulled something in my back, and I spent six weeks just rehabbing, recovering from that. So then I started running again. In the four months that followed, I improved my 5K runtime by 10 minutes. Now, those of you that have researched or followed the NMN story with David Sinclair at Harvard know that he put an older mouse on a treadmill next to a younger mouse, and it outran it and ran further on the treadmill. They gave the older mouse NMN. And so I feel really like that mouse. And it's really hard to understand how I could improve my runtime by 30%. You know, 10% I could see just from psychological reasons. But in, in a couple cases, like in one week, I jumped by a minute. So it, it really is, I'm feeling this boost of energy and it's exhibiting itself in the results of my performance. So it's another reason that I just... I never had this before. I was never running before. I, I would take days, sometimes weeks to recover from trying to run before. And now I'm running every week and I'm only running once a week, which is also interesting because usually you wouldn't have that kind of increase unless you're training a lot more. I am doing a lot of other fitness, but not specifically running. I'm only running distance once a week, yet I'm getting these huge time benefits. I'm also doing stretching, I'm also eating well, get more into that in a minute. So placebo effect psychologically is a real thing, medical not so much, but it really doesn't account for the number of cases. And when you look at people buying in them and they they tend to rebuy it again and again, so they're getting results so they just wouldn't invest that kind of money. The third reason and this is a dangerous one and a big one, uh, fake in them. Fake NMN is out there. In some cases, it's 100% fake. In my case, I took an NMN, an NMN tablet early on for seven months, and it turned out to be there was no NMN in it. Uh, I wasn't feeling benefits. I had taken a real NMN for three months, switched because this one was cheaper. It was on Amazon. I've told this story before. A lot of NMN is partial NMN. So purity levels are not full. And this can definitely impact the NMN. And a lot of these fake NMNs are not stored properly or packaged properly. And you really need, storage is a big issue with NMN. So some of these people saying they're not getting results, went up to Amazon, ordered NMN, and it was either not pure at all, had no NMN in it, or you know 70% of the NMN sold on Amazon is fake to some degree. And even a weakened, poorly stored, poorly packaged NMN can also uh, not give you positive results. In fact, in some cases, it can be dangerous. So be very careful taking uh, fake NMN. Be sure that you've verified uh, the source of the NMN. I've done that for you with Do Not Age. Um, I've tested it myself. Uh, I take it myself. Um, there's a code, a discount code in the description. But no matter what NMN you take, you know, make sure it, you can confirm the test results preferably yourself. They also have their own NMN tested three times, one by the manufacturer, one when they receive it, and one before it's shipped out and packaged for its customers, so with a second lab. So they actually test independently every batch of their own NMN twice. So very important to avoid fake NMN. The fourth reason, uh, and this is also a big one, some people will report and do report not having results from NMN, is user error. Now, don't confuse user error with user's fault. It's not user's fault that there's user error. User error can be any of a number of things in this case. Um, you're not taking enough. 
you know, a lot of the human trials were only done with 250 milligrams of NMN, and that's just very little. That's much less than a recommended dosage from a reputable pure NMN uh, reseller. It would be some, something like 500 milligrams or up. I'm actually taking two grams, so four times that now. I find a good dosage. I usually feel great after 1.5 grams, but at the moment I'm still taking the two because I'm about to do my second NAD test and I wanna see how much my NAD levels changed over the past couple months because I went from one gram to two. So user error can also be that packaging issue, that storage issue. Um, a, a comment, one reason I love the comments is even though we get some trolls or some bad information, we get some good tips, user tips. Like someone said, hey, are you cleaning that spoon? Because I take NMN sublingually under the tongue tap it on the teeth. But even that little tap in the mouth can pick up bacteria. If you put that back in the NMN or don't wash it every day, you're doing this, um, in my case, four times a day over months. So of course I got to wash that spoon. So every day I wash the spoon now. It's also sensitive to heat. It's also sensitive to water, very sensitive to water. So the moisture from your breath and tapping it in your mouth um, could get inside the NMN and deteriorate that NMN uh, and cause it to not be as effective. So user error is a big one. Also user error, what are you taking with NMN? Uh, David Seclair recommends a sirtuin activator, something like a resveratrol, quercetin, uh, or even olive oil, which has been shown to be a very effective sirtuin activator. And this can multiply the impacts of NMN. Uh, other good supplements to consider with NMN are CAAKG, Apigenin, a very good one. Uh, I recently added fisetin or fisetin, depending on who you're talking to, to the mix. And I feel really good taking that one as well. I do put that in the yogurt uh, because it's not as bioavailable on its own, just drinking it with water. By the way, NMN, you can drink with water. You can put it under the tongue. Uh, it's best to take in the morning. So time of day can matter. It's best to take it on an empty stomach. So we're synchronizing your circadian rhythms when you take it and trying to avoid having food already in your stomach when you take the NMN. Whereas resveratrol you take with food. I've seen people post, well, I take my NMN with yogurt. Well, no, that that's the activator. That's the sirtuin activator. You don't have to take all these supplements, period, to realize health benefits. It just so happens that many of us benefit from that, uh, that baseline of taking the supplements and then being more active. Another thing is, and this would be user error, are you actually making lifestyle changes when you're taking them in? Preferably start a little before so you can really see the difference. Make sure you're exercising regularly before you start NMN so that when you take NMN, you can actually feel if you're getting an energy boost. Because if you don't expend energy, how do you know you're not getting more energy? It's, it's not something that you could just sit around and go, do I feel it? Do I feel it? <laughs> you know, when you're active, it basically can expose how impactful uh, taking supplements or just living healthier can be or sleeping better, for example. So make sure that you, you know, use it, use it or lose it. Make sure that you get out there and do that physical activity, make those lifestyle changes, eat healthier. If you want to segment it away from, okay, I don't want to do all this at once. Um, taking NMN inspired me to make those changes, but maybe you want to make those changes first to see what that would bring to the party and then add NMN and then you'll, you'll be a little more uh, informed as to what actually NMN is doing to improve your, your lifestyle choices, your health choices, your wellness choices. Number five is the big one, the big warning one, I should say. Um, you may have other health issues. Listen, NMN is not a cure-all for all health issues. You could have a mineral deficiency. I take minerals because I exercise so much. I find that magnesium really helps me. Um, I do take zinc, but not all the time. I kind of alternate that with some vitamin C um, occasionally. Um, I'm also getting some calcium. I take that with the CAKG. It's calcium delivered, so I take it that way. I take vitamin D, vitamin K. Um, these are important things to get, especially if you're very active and going through a lot of those minerals and body salts and burning those up, using those up. Replacing those can bring huge benefits, and it's one of the ways I recovered from that injury I mentioned. 
you may have a chemical imbalance. You know, you get a blood test. If you're taking NMN and not feeling more energy and not feeling some results, you could have, like I said, some other health issue. You should definitely get your blood tested. It's a good idea anyway if you're feeling lethargic and lacking energy. But if you take NMN and still don't, I mean, then I'd really make sure you're getting some medical attention. You could have long COVID at this point. You could have cancer. Cancer depletes your body's energy big time because it's constantly fighting that in the background. You may not even realize it. You could have chronic fatigue syndrome, which NMN has been shown to help with, but it takes a long period of time. You may not have, getting back to the user error, you just may not have taken it long enough or enough of it to feel that impact because you have other chronic issues. So Hopefully that can inspire some of you to rethink your approach with NMN. If you tried it once before, maybe try a better source, maybe make sure you're taking a better dosage, maybe accompany it with some sirtuin activator or some other supplements, make the lifestyle choices, be active, exercise. Also subscribe and like this video. I hope you did like it. And I'll put a link and that code uh, in the description since I've talked so much about NMN and getting a good one. If you want to get it from Do Not Age, you can get 10% off using my code. Thanks for watching. I'll be back soon. Got a lot more videos coming this summer, so it's going to be really busy. Talk to you soon.